CataractCoach.com, using the keratome to start the capsorexis. This can definitely save you a step, but you must be cautious. Now, our guest surgeon here is Dr. Luis Esca from Colombia. And you can see, he's just going in with the keratome after making the incision, using that to slice into the anterior lens capsule carefully, and then lift up a flap. And now you can get the rexus completed. Now, this is a very nice technique. It makes it very easy, saves a step. You don't need a cystotome. You could just use your forceps to poke in, but I like his technique of doing this. It's something different, not something I normally do or have tried, but you can see it's obviously very successful. Keep in mind that Dr. Escaf is a highly experienced surgeon. And the main issue here is if you're a beginning surgeon and you're doing this, you have to be careful not to inadvertently enlarge your phaco incision. So if you go in the eye so far with the keratome and then you come out in just a slightly different path or hit the side walls of your incision, you'll inadvertently widen the incision. So here's where the keratome goes in again, and you can see cuts underneath it, and then using that to flip it up, and he's got fantastic control here. And he's able to really continue it even just with this, the tip of the keratome. Can tear that rexus and then switch over here to forceps. Notice how he's very careful though when he comes out of the eye. And these forceps are some micro forceps. I like how they're marked off in millimeters so you can judge your rexus size here as you're doing it. So completing that capsule rexus. And also another benefit of these very tiny forceps, these 23 or 25 gauge forceps, that they can go in the incision without actually causing too much egress or loss of viscoelastic. So again, cutting the central lens capsule, cutting across. Notice how he doesn't cut across to the full diameter. He cuts across a little bit less than the diameter so that he can then spiral it out. And notice how he's careful in coming out of the keratome. There he even took out a little viscoelastic. Now you can grab it with the micro forceps and he can continue his rexes as desired. So watch carefully at the incision too. Notice how his forceps pivot beautifully within the incision. So obviously a very experienced surgeon here. That pivoting technique is the hard thing that uh, beginning surgeons find. So completing that rexus, and you can see it's beautifully centered, just about five millimeters as measured by his forcep tips. And that looks great. And so here again, those forcep tips, and you can see they have the marks on them. And so you can judge as you create this rexus, what size do you want? And then he's got an overlay here on his viewing system, you can see that gives him the center so he can keep it very well centered. So again, cutting in with the keratome and then lifting it up. And notice how the sharp part of the keratome blade is very careful not to let it touch the side walls of the incision. So normally when I tell you to use the keratome to make your incision, I always say only go in when you make your incision until the widest part of your blade has entered or pierced decimase and then come out and, re and retract the blade. Because if you come in too far, and then you come out at a slight angle, what will end up happening is, you'll end up enlarging the incision. But you notice every time here, he's very careful. And when he comes out of the eye of the keratome, he is very sure that it's not enlarging his incision. And so I like, uh, I like to feature these various techniques. It's not something I see routinely, but certainly it works very well in his hands. And you can see consistency, case after case, very nicely done. So again, using the sharp part of the blade, getting it flipped over, notice he comes out very carefully from the incision. Also look at the tear. You can see on the capsule that he sliced across to less than the full um, radius. So he's cutting across to maybe 70% or 80% of the radius that he the desired radius and then spiraling it out. So again, same thing here. And again, you have to be careful in coming out of that incision. And then you could create your capsorexis here. And then remember, we always talk about what's the mark of a, your signature you leave on the eye. On every eye, you leave a mark, and that is your incision and your capsorexis. Those are the important things you leave on every eye and every surgeon in perpetuity forever, we'll be able to look at this eye and see what was your incision like and what was your rexus like. So really take pride in this step. All the corneal edema will resolve, but you definitely want to have a beautiful rexus and incision. And this technique, if you're having trouble, or if you want to try with your own technique, or you want to try a new technique, or maybe move away, away from that cystotome, you can try this. You already have the instrument, it's just your existing keratome. Just remember, be cautious in coming out of the eye. So a beautiful video. Thanks for sharing, Dr. Escaf. Appreciate you watching.